What do you call a fish wearing a bow tie? Sophisticated. Today, I'm going to recap a 2019 action-adventure film called Triple Frontier. A quick warning, there will be major spoilers ahead. Private military advisor Santiago Pope Garcia works in Colombia combating organized crime. An informant named Yovana asks for his help with smuggling her and her brother out of the country. In exchange, the whereabouts of a drug lord, Loria. Yovana tells Pope that Loria lives in a remote house in the jungle with $75 million in cash. Pope travels to Florida to recruit his fellow Delta Force veterans to seize the money under the pretense of working for the government. Tom Redfly Davis, a realtor. William Ironett Miller, a motivational speaker. His brother Benny Miller, an MMA fighter, and Francisco Catfish Morales, a pilot. Pope manages to convince the team to steal the money for themselves. After creating a plan, the team infiltrates the house while Loria's family attends church to minimize casualties. They subdue the guards but cannot find Loria or the money. the money. Pope realizes that the money is hidden in the walls, and they find far more than expected. Redfly fixates on the money, demanding the team continue loading past their exit time until they convince him that they must leave. After loading the money in a van, they do a final sweep for Loria. He ambushes them and wounds Ironhead before Pope kills him. The crew tends to Ironhead's wound, as the family returns with the rest of the guards. The crew eliminates the guards, burns down the house, and drives away with $250 million in cash while leaving the family alive. They rendezvous with Yavanna and her brother at an airfield where Ironhead's contact provides them with a Milmai 8 to reach the getaway boat off the coast of Peru. Catfish doubts that the helicopter can hold their weight with all the money and reach the altitude necessary to cross the Andes Mountains. Unwilling to leave behind any money, Redfly urges Catfish to proceed. They drop Yavanna and her brother off over the border where Redfly aggressively questions her knowledge of them, knowing she could link them to the robbery. Yovana adamantly denies knowing any of the crew's personal information. Before leaving, Pope gives Yovana and her brother $3 million and visas to Australia. As the crew departs, an unsatisfied Redfly claims that Yovana was lying but Pope talks him down. As they attempt to fly over the mountains, the money's significant weight causes them to crash on a cocaine farm. The farmers become hostile after mistaking the crew for DEA agents, causing Redfly to kill several of them. Pope compensates the village elder for the deaths while Catfish, Ironhead, and Benny prepare mules to transport the money through the mountains. As they move toward the coast, two vengeful villagers ambush the crew. Redfly kills one before the second kills him. Pope subsequently kills the second villager. Disheartened, they proceed towards the ocean with the money and Redfly's body. Benny scouts ahead and reports the getaway boat is still there, but the town is filled with remnants of Luria's crew waiting for them. They fill their packs with whatever cash they can carry and dump the remainder in a ravine. They attempt to quietly move through the town carrying Redfly's body, but are discovered. No, 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 no. This is this is it. This is it. After a significant car chase and various shootouts, the team makes it to the boat with $5 million and Redfly's body. 
Later, as the team sets up payment accounts, the guilt-ridden men each agree to give their shares to Redfly's family. The team separates, and Pope plans to head to Australia to find Ivana. Before leaving, Iron Ed gives Pope a set of coordinates on a piece of paper. The Location of the Ravine If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy hit the like button, and if you disliked it hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. You should watch the full movie, thank you very much for watching.